There are many tools at the disposal of those seeking information in the digital age. Sadly, there are several useful techniques that fall by the wayside, simply because most users do not know that they exist or are unaware of how easy to use and effective they really are. The Find tool, which is available in all browsers, not to mention MS Office, Acrobat, and many other programs, is one such neglected diamond in the digital research rough. The easiest way to access this tool is to hold down the Control key and press the F key if you are on a PC, or Command and F on an Apple. If you wish, you may also access it through your browser's menu. It will work the same either way. So what is so useful about the Find tool? You can enter any word or even a part of a word, and it will take you to exactly where your search term appears on the page. Let's say that you are looking for information on Canon cameras and have found yourself on the Digital Photography Reviews website. There's a lot of information on this page, and reading or even skimming through all of it for mention of a Canon would be time-consuming, and you might miss something. You could use the search box provided on the page, but this usually searches the entire site, not just this one page. Hold down the Control key, and then hit the F key, and a Find bar will open. In this case, we are using Firefox, but here's what it looks like in Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and Safari. When you begin typing the word Canon into the search bar, you see that it is already working, looking for the first C, then the first CA, and then CAN, and so on. The first to come up is the first place the word Canon appears on the page. Click on the next arrow to go to the next mention and continue until you find the mention of Canon that you are looking for. You can also backtrack using the previous button. The value of this when dealing with long articles or lists is obvious, but it is also useful when you must find out which of many different sources contains the information you need. While there is no way more accurate to determine relevancy than actually reading every article in its entirety, this is not usually feasible nor efficient, even if the individual articles are not that long themselves. Make a list of a few words that a relevant document should contain, and run a search for them in each document. This is especially effective for names. Let's say that you are looking through a bunch of articles on the link between diabetes and Alzheimer's, and you want to make sure that each article mentions the University of Alabama in Birmingham and or Dr. Kiyohara. You have an article on the screen that seems relevant to the topic, but does it mention one or both of these things? Hold the control button and then hit the F key. Type in Birmingham, and before you're even done typing, it takes you right to it. Now let's see if Dr. Kiyohara is mentioned. And there he is. This article is definitely a keeper. What's more, just like using Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V to copy and paste, Ctrl-F is not confined to the Internet. You may also use the Find features in Microsoft Office and to search within most PDFs. Let's say that you have a long list of recipes saved in a Word file. It is cumbersome to scroll through it all, looking for the one that you want. Hold down Control and hit the F key, and then type the name of the food that you want a recipe for. The newer versions of Word will actually list all of the mentions along the left side, although you can still use the arrows to navigate to the next or previous instance. When viewing a PDF in Adobe Acrobat, there is already a Find box at the top of the screen, if you have it turned on. But if you don't feel like taking your fingers off the keyboard to click on it, you can always hold Control and hit the F key, and it will instantly place the cursor in that Find box. In this case, it does not actually run the search until you click on the Find Next button. Please note that in PDFs it is only possible to search text that has been optimized for searching using a process called OCRing. Some PDFs may not have had this processing and will not be text searchable. If you find yourself lost or wishing that you had a quick and effective way to find a word or a phrase, try using the Find option. It is available in almost every program and browser and will save you a lot of time and hassle.